Jane Dais Hinch is a British wedding planner who's used to organizing weddings for royalty and rock stars. Everybody loves a wedding. But can she handle a less than helpful groom uh, and a disorganized bride who calls herself an event planner? This is going to be the battle of the cougars. Will Jane be able to help them get their second wedding under control or will she finally lose it? What's the worst that can happen? have both been married once before. So you'd think planning their second wedding would be a piece of cake. I was totally stumped. Here I am getting married for the second time and I really don't know what to do. To top it all off, Susan's an event planner. So she must have done something. So far we did nothing. We haven't picked a photographer yet. We have to get Susan's dress. So I have to get my suit. We haven't got our rings yet. We have to get a catering. Oh, makeup and hair. Oh, right. And with the wedding just weeks away, Susan's starting to crack under the pressure. I'm pretty stressed. She walks uh, up and down the room and thinking, 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 and you know, she's uh, a little bit worried. Susan may be feeling the heat, but Sasha's as cool as a cucumber. I don't seem to see too much stress happening with him. I'm on holidays right now. I don't work for two months, so it makes it easier on me to but even though he's on vacation, Sasha has no intention of helping with this wedding. Susan is, is really in charge of the whole wedding. I would love to have him involved. I'm a giver and he's a taker. Hang on, Susan, that's not entirely true. Sasha's willing to give his opinion. He's just not willing to help. I think maybe it would be nicer if we make it more this way. No, no? sorry. The budget uh, for the wedding, which we discussed, is, would be between six and eight thousand dollars. But we've kind of decided between three and five thousand. But wait, they do agree about one thing. We cannot plan a wedding on our own. So we have an event planner who can't plan, and a groom who refuses to plan, and less than three weeks to go. Sounds like a job for Jane Dais Hinch. Susan is an event planner. And she's good at what she does. But I'm a wedding planner, and I'm good too. And Jane's also a fairy godmother, who's here to grant Susan and Sasha three wishes to keep their second wedding Hi. from Hello, completely Susan. falling yes, apart. Hi, Jane. Nice to meet you. Come and tell me all about it. OK. But Jane, before she can work her magic, too, Jane needs Hello, to see Sasha. the ceremony Hello, site, AKA the back deck. What we're planning to do is have the ceremony out here. We're going to get a tent, and we'll have chairs facing the rabbi. And that's all ordered, deposits paid, and done. And no. How many guests? We've got about 30 to 50 guests. 50 people, if everybody turns up. It isn't 50 people outside, it's what happens if it's raining and it's 50 people inside. Have that, all the guests that, had their invitation? Only half the guests have the invitations, the other half don't have it yet. Why? Because Sasha would like to hand deliver them and he hasn't done that yet. We're just touching the surface here. Have you got a particular colour or anything that you want a colour to come through? Are you going to have anything? A cake? Nothing's been ordered. Music? Jazz band. Jazz band. Is that booked? No. They're thinking that everything else, it, it, it's just a party, it's just some friends coming around. No, it's your wedding. Doesn't sound like Susan's casual approach to wedding planning is sitting well with Jane. The danger with this wedding is that we could get so diluted down that it becomes just a backyard barbecue party, and I don't want that. Everybody's kind of expecting for me to do the food for the wedding because I'm known for the cooking, so I'm... The bride's doing the cooking. Have you ever seen a bride in an apron? Hello, excuse me, I've just got to go and cook all your food. No. They've got nothing booked, no deposits paid, invitations haven't even been sent, and I can't understand as an event planner. There's been no thought put into anything. Well, they have done one thing. This modern day Sonny and Cher have written a song for their wedding. You made me love you forever. You made me love you forever. You made me love you forever. I 
I have got such a headache. But it's Susan and Sasha who will be hurting when they see what Jane has in store for them. Stress level will go up when I give them the plan. Jane's plan outlines what Susan and Sasha will have to do over the next three weeks if they have any hopes of hearing wedding bells. So invitations, we've got to get them out. The ceremony, if you're going to do your own vows, the readings and you need a meeting with the rabbi. As Jane That's runs through the call. list, we need Susan to and Sasha do you their best impressions of deer caught in headlights. For the first 15 minutes, I thought I was talking to myself. Then, you Sasha decides you to change it up, it and he does deer shrugging in headlights. I just kept going down the plan, and there was no reaction, and I was thinking, am I saying something wrong here? Susan and Sasha originally thought having a small wedding at home would mean less planning, less huge, prep, and less pressure. Wrong. The more Jane Rimbles. talks, the more you Susan and Sasha shut down. Chairs, to say they're overwhelmed they is an understatement. I don't think they thought of half of the things that were on that plan. There's just so much to do and so little time. I think panic has set in. This is what I do, but I'm also fairy godmother and I'm here to grant three wishes. Well, I do have a wish. Already? Yes. Okay. My wish is, because I am getting a little bit older and not a 25-year-old bride, uh, to help me get in shape a little bit before the wedding. Great. So instead of asking Jane to rent a tent, send out invites, or hire a photographer, Susan asked Jane to help her lose weight. Surprise! At least she's got her priorities straight. Hello. I might be a fairy godmother, but I can't wave that magic wand. Coming up, the girls get physical. This is brutal. Sasha does nothing, and Jane lays down the law. This could be a disaster. I thought I'd given you panic when I left, but obviously not panic enough. British wedding planner Jane Deus Hinch has come face to face with disaster. With a capital D. Susan and Sasha's wedding is 18 days away and they haven't even sent out all the invites. I would say we are a little bit in panic mode. But Jane's not just a wedding planner. She's also a fairy godmother who can grant Susan and Sasha three wishes to save their day from ruin. I've tried to make it real for them, sit them down and try and get them in the mood and the mode of the wedding. So hopefully that they will now go away and go, I've got to do this to make it happen. But Susan's first wish is a big one, even for Jane. Make me thin. I want to be fit for my wedding. You want to get in shape? Let's get in shape. Welcome to boot camp. This is not going to be easy. I'm ready. I'm glad you are. <laughs> Let's get started. Excuse me, there's only one set of little weights. Susan's a maniac, a maniac, and it shows. Push, 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 push. Nine. I'm going to try to keep with it. It's not that many weeks, so let's see what happens. Pick it up, pick it up. Holy smokes. It doesn't look like Jane's getting off easy either. Why didn't you pick flowers? Give me ten. There we go. One session of bridal boot camp. And Susan's already learned a valuable lesson. Careful what you wish for. I'm calling off the wedding. <laughs> that might be a good idea because Sasha's still doing nothing. If Sasha doesn't start doing something, anything for this wedding, it might not happen. I'm not stressed at all. But Susan's stressed because she's gone against Jane's advice and decided to cater the entire wedding herself. This is going to be the apron that I'm going to be walking down the aisle in. Susan is still insisting on doing the catering. A bride doing the catering on a wedding day. I'm speechless. Okay, you Sasha's can also at a loss stickers. for words. Okay. He's too busy taste That's testing. Perfect. How come Sasha isn't doing any cooking? He's much better at eating than he is at cooking. Susan struggles to cook for 50 guests. Sasha goes out in search of desserts. This is the best task I could get. Sasha seems to be enjoying this task, even if it does mean helping out with the wedding. I should get married more often. But Sasha doesn't place an order. He goes home and tells Susan to do it. 
None of this is going to impress Jane when she pops in Hello. to check on Susan and Sasha's progress. I've left them with a huge plan of things to do and I've come back and nothing is done. Invitation is going to be done today. Today though, Sasha? You yes. could have done it all last week. Have we got a florist yet? No, we don't have a florist yet. Where are we at with the photographer? Mm, nowhere. nowhere. Cake. We just have to call the, the store. So we've still got to order the cake? Yes. How's the tidying up the yard going on? On your holidays, Sasha? You don't like deadlines, do you? <laughs> Sasha's thinking that everything's moving along nicely and it's fine and yes, OK, there's a couple of things to do. But he is just giving all that to Susan. To have a wedding planner that's worried is a bad thing because this could be a disaster. I am a little concerned. I have to be honest, I'm a little bit concerned. You're looking at me to think I'm coming in to save the day. Yes, I can, but with your help. So I need you guys to be out there doing. With only six days left until the wedding, Sasha finally decides to deliver his share of the invites which is plenty of notice, if you're a hermit and have no life. Hmm, I guess some people have full-time jobs. I hope she's home. While Sasha knocks on doors, Susan starts calling in orders. I have a quick question. How much are chair covers? Yeah, can I speak to someone about some uh, tent rentals? Do you have a 15-foot carpet? How much would that be? How Susan much, and Sasha may have finally kicked into high gear but is it too little, too late? I just need to know what the two wishes are that are most important to them. What do they want help with? Because at the moment, it's huge. If they want a disaster on their hands, they're going the right way about it. Susan and Sasha's second wedding is headed for disaster. Wow. I think panic has set in. Cue Jane Deas Hinch a superstar British wedding planner who's come to grant them three wishes in hopes of saving this chaotic nightmare. To have a wedding planner that's worried is a bad thing. For the first wish, Jane enrolled Susan in bridal boot camp. Be careful what you wish for. Since then, Susan's been working out fanatically. I didn't know what I was getting into. Believe it or not, I actually enjoy this. So wish one is a success, but there's only two wishes left and two days to go. What do they want help with? Because at the moment, it's huge. Inside, Susan's got the catering under control, ish. More salt. But outside's a different story. Okay, the tent should come closer so that at least. Why? Yeah, that's the problem. Well, we can tape this up. I hope Jane is going to be here today because I really need her to help me with the decorating of the deck. That's one of my big wishes. You know, she gave us pointers, which is great. But now let's roll up your sleeves and do something for God's sake. Hello? Susan and Sasha have done nothing to get the backyard and deck ready for the wedding. Luckily, there's a new sheriff in town. I like getting dressed up for the occasion. Gardening just isn't an occasion. We're on such a tight deadline to get all this ready. From what I can see, Susan's still running around doing everything and I still haven't seen Sasha. So I don't know what he's doing. The key to decorating a wedding? Get lots of help. At the minute, there's nothing happening and there should be lots. Okay, well, it's only because I'm alone. I'm, there's lots happening, it's just, it's only me doing it. <laughs> As ever. While Susan was telling me all about this decking problem, I asked where Sasha was, and he was upstairs asleep. But not for long. No more sleeping. Can't believe that Susan and I had to go and wake Sasha up. There's just so much to do this afternoon. I mean, it's the wedding tomorrow, and he's having a nap. It's not bragging if you've done it. What have you done? But Sasha's not Jane's only problem. This rain continues like this. We're all going to get wet. From bridal boot camp. Now that was a wish. Decorate my decking. What a great wish. <laughs> Can't wait for the third one. While Jane continues in the backyard, 
Susan and Sasha learn that hiring a photographer the day before the wedding is going to cost them a lot. No matter how they look at it, these prices are totally out of focus and cause the couple to shudder. Not wanting to spend another penny, Susan and Sasha try to get by with a little help from their friends. Hi, Kath, it's Sue. Would you be able to take some pictures, some photographs for us? Oh. Hi. Oh, you might not be here. Would you mind? Oh, oh, I see. Bye. Looks like it's time to cash in wish number three. We want you to take photographs of our wedding. Right. So guess who's not getting any sleep tonight then? All of us. All of us. Yep. Coming up, Jane goes toe to toe with Rabbi Goldfinger. When the rabbi showed up, she changed everything. Who am I? I'm just the wedding planner. Three weeks ago, frazzled second time bride Susan and her groom to be Sasha sent out a wedding SOS. I need your help. Their call was answered by none other than top British wedding planner, Jane Deus Hinch. What's making you frazzled? Jane granted Susan and Sasha three wishes to keep their second wedding from becoming second rate. For their first wish, Jane and Susan went to bridal boot camp. Why didn't you pick flowers? And for the second wish, Jane decorated their backyard ceremony site. I feel so and for the last wish, Jane's focus is being the official wedding photographer. I'm ready. Now it's the day of the wedding, and Susan and Jane are busy with last minute details. But Sasha, not so much. Good. No plenty of time. After lunch, Sasha gets right to work, napping. I need my beauty sleep. How can he nap with all this going on? Sasha has got a list of things to do. And it's quite a long list, but he's gone for lunch, and now he's gone for a nap again. At her wit's end, Jane sends Susan upstairs to wake up Sasha. I can't believe it. Hi, Sasha. How are you? Did you have a good nap? Yes. Good. Now you're fully rested, yes. we have to make the decision of inside or outside, because looking at this, it's grey. We made a decision to do it inside. All inside, and we're not going to change again, even if the sun comes out. Even if the sun comes out. Nobody's going to be able to see us. Nobody. We can easily set up everything here. And people can... can I make the decision? Absolutely. Can I set up the deck, put the chairs out, put the runner out, yes. put the table out, and that's it. And you can go and get hair and makeup done, please. Well, I've made the decision for them, and we're outside, and that's it. Jane has decided that the guests will be on the upper deck and the ceremony will take place on the lower deck. Once she gets it all set up, the rabbi arrives and changes everything. Where are they going to be standing this way? Yeah. It seems that the rabbi is made of sugar You're going to and be needs to be covered in case it rains. When the rabbi showed up, she changed everything. But I don't mess with rabbis. I mess with everybody else, but I don't mess with rabbis. Now that the guests have arrived and the rabbi is protected from the rain, it's time for Susan and Sasha to say, I do. Like a circle, without beginning or end, these rings which you are about to exchange symbolize continuity, security, and harmony. The life behind. The life behind. This ceremony was beautiful, but Everybody was crammed in like sardines. <laughs> Who am I? I'm just the wedding planner. With the ceremony over, right, come down. Jane gets down. snap happy yeah. and Looking grants a third wish. <laughs> Today was absolutely fabulous. Thanks to Jane and her help in so many different ways. It just went so smoothly. I'm just thrilled to pieces. One, two, three. I think they now realize a second wedding is as much work, if not more, and it is much harder to have and entertain in your own home. Apart from a wedding planner, 
I've been a fitness coach, I've been a gardener, party decorator, photographer, I could go on and on. At the end of the day, she's such a nice lady and she really knows what she's doing. And it was easy and pleasure, you know, working with her. All that's left is the grand finale. Susan and Sasha performing their song for all their guests. Get ready to sing along, folks. You've changed my life forever. You changed my life forever. You changed my life forever. You changed my life forever. When I first met Susan and Sasha, they were totally out of tune. Well, they still are out of tune, but they're married. And I can honestly say that I granted their three wishes and gave them the wedding of their dreams. What can I do?